All right, so this is gonna be my last review and then I'm gonna start working on my best of list. I am kind of looking forward to that. I have no clue what direction that's gonna go. I haven't even started to like review it and see what my favorite figures were. So it's even kind of a mystery to me at this point. But I figured I'd have to give NECA a little time to shine. This thing was sitting under that stack of Mezcos. I even for I forgot that I even had this thing. NECA is one of the best toy companies out there. I think they do some pretty amazing stuff. But with me, I'm completely burn on, burnt out on Alien and Predator. I kind of feel like you've scratched that itch. If I buy another Alien or Predator figure and throw it on that shelf, you're not going to tell that it's there. And at 30 bucks a pop, it's kind of a waste of money at this point. So put him on the shelf, put that collection to a close. As far as NECA goes for a company, a lot of this stuff is good. The Gremlins are good. If you do something that stands out, I'll pick it up. Um, turtles, I don't do turtles. Like the turtle line is amazing. It's probably some of the best toys made right now, but just not a turtle guy. Let's check out this Predator. It's not the first time I've seen the side of you. I'm through and now you're walking on. Such a thin line and I'm about to lose my nerve when I want this time. Cost me so much. Now even in the dust, everything we had, it's ruined away. And I am wasted too much. Alright, so before we get this Predator video started, I want to throw a shout out there to Bobby for throwing me a set of these wings. Bobby, I don't know why you would make something this cool and not throw it in the box if you're going to send these things out for review because that, I mean, the figure was cool. Now with the wings on it, these things do move too, by the way. They, they go up and down, which I kind of like them up. Definitely a cool touch, man. The plastic on that, really good. You can feel the texture on it. Also comes with the shield. Comes with a grenade launcher, a couple other guns. Nice little pack. If you're going to get the Swarm figure, now it's kind of like you kind of need two because you want to display one without the wings and then one with the wings. Nice little touch. Thanks for throwing that out. Now let's get to this Alpha Predator. This is the new one. I Like I said before, I, this thing has been sitting on the shelf, or I mean on the ground, forever in the box. I uncovered it and I was like, holy shit, I forgot that I even bought that thing, which kind of is sad. When you forget that you bought stuff, it kind of shows that you really didn't need it. He comes with a bunch of extra hands. You know me. I just do the ones that can hold something for I can put all the weapons in the hands. Because if I don't put the weapons in the hands, they're going to go in the drawer and they're kind of be kind of going to be pointless. On this figure, a couple things that they did is these um, gauntlet things. These things slide up and down. That was a nice little touch. These little swords, these little uh, extra bone things. These things plug in. This one and this one were extra thrown into the package. It also has a little extra weapon storage on the belt loop so you can put like another weapon there. So you can actually make him hold all of his weapons at the same time. As far as the Necker Predator goes, I think they're really good. They still have, um, I thought they had pins in the articulation. Yeah, they, they're still doing pins, but they hide them with the armor. So I'm going to go ahead and give them a free pass on that. Do they have the pins? Yeah, they got pins there couple pins you can tell you can tell that they're they're trying to get away from the pin thing it looks like once they do it'll definitely make a nice little touch but he comes with the little hook you can put that thing in his hand he comes with the spear you can put that thing in the hand for once they put a did a predator that doesn't have that scope on his back so that's a nice touch just to have that the mask does come off and on which is really cool like they i mean they look better without the mask on them but if you do that, then these masks go in the drawer and you really don't know what to do with them. It, sometimes it doesn't really stay on there, but I think we got it this time. I'll just show you a quick look. I'm not going to go over the articulation. If you have any predators at all, you know that it's, it's decent. It's not great. I don't really think that people are buying these things for their articulation. They do look great on the shelf. I actually like the scale of these things. Like I know it's a bigger scale. Let me go ahead and grab a... Marvel Legends, just for you can kind of get a little comparison. Let me see. Uh, he grabs a Cyclops because he's kind of a basic size. So if you wanted to display your Predators 
with the like Marvel Legends or six inch figures. Yeah, they're a little oversized, but I think that it kind of works. I know that um, Mezco is making a Predator figure. Somebody asked me if I was going to get that. I'm going to pass on it. I don't need to open up that can of worms. They've scratched my Predator itch. I really don't need to spend like 120 bucks on a Mezco Predator that's like this size because I actually really like the size and I don't know what I'd do with like just one six inch size Predator. So when they do like figures, if they do something that's this different, I might get it, throw it on the shelf. This was like the hybrid between the Predator and the Alien. It's one of my favorite ones. The blue, that was just a repaint of a figure that they already did, which it should be. That's also one of my favorite ones. And then they got the big like super Alpha Predator, which is weird because they call this Alpha Predator. I'm going to go ahead and throw these on the shelf. I'm going to show you the Predator collection probably for the last time. I'm not going anywhere, but I think I'm done with Predator. All right, so as promised, here's the Predator collection. It's just these two shelves, and I think that I'm done. I, it's, this isn't even like half of the Predators that they made. I tried to focus on ones that were either in the movie or looked like they were in the movie, and if it was one that they did a movie character and it looked real similar to a character that I already had I would pass on that because I didn't want to have like eight figures that looked almost identical I tried to get ones that stood out that looked a little different I mean they're predator they all look kind of similar which is why I like the collection I think I did pretty good as far as mixing it up and kind of getting like a nice little variety there's some comic book stuff there's some like video game stuff but me, mostly, I like the movie stuff, but then they, when they exaggerate it and do like this Alpha Predator or something like that, that kind of looks cool. And then you have some more up here. You got the girl one, which I know that she wasn't in the movie or anything, but it, just something that kind of stood out. I thought it looked on the shelf. As far as that dog goes, I wish I would have bought an extra one of those. They did the other dog creature in that last movie. I was hoping that they would have made him if they ever make him, which they probably won't because that's a lot of new sculpting. I would definitely get that. That's something that I would like to add to the collection. Then you come up here, you have some of the clear ones. And then you have the human characters down there. But that's it. That's my um, NECA Predator collection. And over there you have the Alien. Which I kind of feel like I kind of scratched that itch on the Alien. I know I missed out on some human characters that I would have liked to add it. Um, I just never saw them on the shelf and then they got kind of pricey and I didn't really feel like I needed to spend the extra money to put them on the shelf because the Predator, I mean the Alien shelf, kind of looks good as is. There it is. You know how we're ending this. At least for a while. We'll, we'll get back to thanks for watching. But for now, it's Let's Go Brandon.